I know today's Friday. It's supposed to be Friday reads, but I am reading the same exact books as I was reading last week. So um, I've had a really rough week this week, and uh, I actually took a mental health day from work today uh, just to read and I did finish two more books so I have I'm just gonna do my wrap-up for the three books that I read since the last time so yeah it's been a rough rough week so yeah so here's my wrap-ups for the three books that I did complete so anyway um, I am on book number 32 and 32 is a big whopper of a book. I finally finished it. I started in September of last year. Yes, it took me that long to read this book. It's 870 pages. It's a middle grade book. So I finally, I started off reading it and then I went to audiobook. It was the only way to finish this book. So the book I finished is this one, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. So... It's by J.K. Rowling. Everybody read this book, except for me. So this is my first time reading it. Um, I thought it was very long. <laughs> uh, 870 pages. Um, it repeated a lot of books one through four. And I do not reread books. So I gave this book three stars. It was okay. Um, I mean, it could have been better. I don't like the repeats. I don't like reading stuff I already read before. Um, and, um, it didn't get really good until the end of the book. The last hour, I was like, oh, I gotta finish this book. Oh, I gotta finish this book. So, the last hour, that's where it picked up. So, not until, like, here. Uh, otherwise, I was kind of bored throughout the whole book. So, yeah, I'm going to watch the movie, and um, I rent, already have a request from the library to watch the movie, so we'll see if I like the movie better than the book. It just, for me, it just dragged and repeated too much, so yeah, three stars. Okay, I finished book number 33, and it is for a middle grade uh, readathon that I'm reading. It's hashtag MG Lit. Let me make sure it's right. MG, hashtag MG Lit. I read this book, Flipped, uh, by Wenderlyn Van Drannen. I took this out from my school library, and this was also on my 2016 uh, must-read books. Uh, so, yeah, so I finished this one. Uh, this book is told in two POVs. Uh, one, the boy, his name is Bruce, and the other, the girl, is Juliana. I think that's what it's called. Juliana, yep. Okay, um, so this is a middle grade book. It takes place when the, they are in eighth grade, which is about the same age as my kids. So they're about 13, 14 years old. And it was really good. It was about a um, first love type thing. And it was really, really cute story. And I really enjoyed it. I gave it four stars. So that's this one. Okay, I finished number 34, and this book I picked up because I'm reading it with a book club on Books Amino, and the book that I chose to read with the book club is Court, Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Moss. Um, I think that this book is overhyped. Um, I did um, enjoy it. I did finish it, but I think that it was like a three star for me. Uh, Sarah J. Moss writes very descriptive, and I enjoyed the very first beginning of the book. I listened to this on audio. Um, the first 12 chapters I really enjoyed. Um, it was kind of similar to Beauty and the Beast because it is a retelling, and I really enjoyed up to the part where she gets captured. And then I lost interest in the middle, and I don't know if it was because I had a bad week this week and I just didn't like it, but then towards the end, she captured my attention again. So, uh, uh, yeah, so I gave it three stars because she lost my interest in the middle. So, yeah, I did buy the next book, and I also buy, bought the third book, so I will continue on with the series just to see if her writing will get better and if I'll enjoy the story. Again, this book is about Beauty and the Beast retelling, and it also has fairies in it. So, yeah, it was pretty interesting. Uh, but, again, I gave it three stars. 
It's me again. I forgot to mention something else that bothered me about this book. <laughs> there, This is supposed to be for young adults, and uh, there was some sexual content in here. So I just wanted to warn you that there is sexual content in this book. Um, I would say for mature audiences, it happens, I think, twice uh, in the sometime in the beginning of the book and I think that's when I lost interest yeah <laughs> I was hoping for a nice uh Beauty and the Beast retelling uh but this was got a little raunchy I think <laughs> so I just wanted to be aware that there is um sexual content in here so just to be warned so um, I'm not sure I'm going to let my children read it. So yeah, they, I think it's for like 15 and above. Uh, yeah, so, so that's this book. Thank you for watching and I will see you in another video. Bye.